Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? I hope it's good. Today's video is one that has been long awaited on my channel. It is my study routine slash how I take notes on my iPad. I've been talking about doing this video for actual months and this semester has been honestly super crazy. So I'm excited to finally be bringing you guys this video. Um, I'm first going to start with my study routine. So basically just making a space for yourself. I actually made myself this whole little office desk area in my room. I have a video on it. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link it up here. You know, lighting a candle telling Alexa to put on study music, you know, it, just make it a vibe, make it something you enjoy. So in today's video, I'm just gonna be taking notes for anatomy and physiology. So fortunately for me, my teacher does actually record voiceovers to our PowerPoint lectures. So what I'm doing here is basically just going on to my class, going on to our module and seeing how many PowerPoints I need to go through before the exam next week. Um, I'm trying to start studying earlier for anatomy and physiology just because the courses are so content heavy that I, I need to start ahead. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm writing down my kind of plan of attack. Um, you see I love to do to-do lists. Uh, clearly I really enjoy doing them. Um, sometimes I'll even write my to-do lists in a notebook or sometimes I'll write it in my planner that I have um, below this one. But today I just kind of went with my to-do list just because my exam isn't for a whole week and you know my planner is only a daily planner so I'm just very particular about how I write stuff down so I just chose to write it in my notebook for today. So as I said, I'm just doing my little to-do list. Now I totally want to credit this style of to-do list to Lauren Doan. I don't know if you guys watch her videos, but if you like productivity, college vlogs like me, you definitely probably know who she is. If not, totally check her out. But she kind of popularized this style of making to-do lists. And honestly, I've just loved making them. This one literally is only for my anatomy and physiology notes because as I said earlier today, in this clip I mean, in this video I mean, sorry, I was just studying for my anatomy and physiology exam. It was on the respiratory system, the anatomy and the physiology of it. I know some schools have anatomy and like physiology as separate classes but my school has them together and yeah as you can see I have a lot of stuff to look over before next week so wish me luck but you know it's all about just taking the first step for exams and stuff like that try not to overwhelm yourself now that we have our plan of attack we, it's time to get to note taking so depending on the class I have different methods of taking notes anatomy is like my one class where I need to take notes um, by the way recommend this silicone pencil uh, cover it makes writing a lot easier especially if you're about to write like notes or just annotate a whole bunch of slides or something like that it's just way more comfortable to grip the pencil that way at least for the first generation one because it's like a cylinder it's kind of slippery to the materials made with um anyways i digress i'm going into my canvas app don't look at my grades lol then i'm going to download the powerpoints from the lecture that i'm about to watch and i'm just importing them to my good notes app good notes is the studying app i prefer i know there's like this whole big debate over good notes versus notability i use good notes 5 by the way but honestly i started out with notability but there's just something about good notes that i just really enjoy i don't really know what it is um, and every time I have an exam, I just do, in, within my anatomy and physiology folder, I do separate folders for the different modules, just so everything's grouped all together in one place. As you can see, this is my PowerPoint I'm looking over, and I'm going to start listening to the lecture. And for each of the classes I'm in, I have a different approach of like studying, like for English, I wouldn't be doing all of this annotating and stuff like that. But for anatomy and physiology, we learn so much information in one PowerPoint that I need to be able to annotate, highlight, mark up things that my teacher says, especially because I'm a super visual person. And not only that, but also because with these online lectures, if I don't, if I'm not annotating a slide or like writing something down, I will not be able to be focused on it. That's just how I am personally. So highly recommend annotating your notes or your slides or just taking notes while your professor's talking just to keep you on track. They don't have to be perfect. Perfect, but you know it really just everything helps with this online learning situation and as I said earlier so many diagrams in a &P, so it's really important for me to be able to doodle on them and emphasize what's important that I need to study as a pre-nursing major my classes that I need for nursing school are pretty much all science classes and for me there's so much content within these classes and courses and whatnot that I have to look up supplemental resources sometimes that's no shade to my professors like they're great and awesome but as I say a lot of times in this video, I'm a very visual person. I personally love the crash courses. Hank and John Green literally have saved my butt. Like, 
I love the Crash Course videos. They're funny, they're entertaining, they're visually pleasing. It's just 10 out of 10. Totally recommend looking at videos like this if you're in science classes or just college in general. But yeah, that's kind of it for my study routine. Now we're going to get into more of the how I take notes portion of this video. Um, so here we go. My iPad. I love this freaking device. It has changed the game. It has saved my grades. It has helped me understand stuff so much better. I will never not express my love for my iPad. Like, you guys just know. So basically what I'm doing right now is I just did the little split screen feature that, um, I think all iPads can do on the newest, like, iOS. And I'm just opening up a new notebook within my anatomy and physiology section, folder, module thing that I've created, I talked about earlier. And we're just gonna start taking some notes. One of the biggest reasons why I love Good Notes 5 is because of how much like color options there are, how customizable it is. I love the top toolbar, how you can have the three preset like sizes for your pens, highlighters, all that stuff. And I also love how the highlighting automatically goes behind like the text, if that makes any sense. If you know the app, you know what I'm talking about. It's just a great app. I really enjoy it. 10 out of 10. Totally recommend. It's definitely worth $8. Now, I really wish I could tell you guys that I have some magical formula method or system for taking notes, but honestly, it really just changes with my mood. Later in this video, when I show you guys some of my older notes, um, just as some examples of how I study, it really depends on how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling lazy, like you'll be able to tell my notes. You'll, you'll be able to tell if I'm really not feeling taking notes but I'm kind of forced myself to. Today I really wasn't feeling it. I just really wanted to film this video for you guys because I know you guys have been waiting a long time for it and I felt bad about it. I was like it's really November and I still haven't done this video yet and I promised him that in August which is embarrassing for me but anyways I digress. Here I'm doing my title just you know respiratory physiology making it all keep fun and fresh. I know I'm one of those girls. I've always been those girls who have all the pens and try to make their notes really pretty because for me if it's pretty and I spent so much time doing it I'm going to look back at it so you know, if it wastes a little extra couple hours out of my life that I won't be able to get back because I wanted to make things pretty, I mean, you know, at least as long as I get grades, I'll take it. Um, and that's just kind of how I, how I have to think about it. So, yeah, there's my little title. Took me a minute and now I'm just going through the slides and looking at what I annotated, look, paying attention to what things are the most important and which things are not. Also, please um, don't tell my professor I'm showing you guys his PowerPoint slides because I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to do that. It's like against the school rule. So, oopsies. Um, sorry, professor, if you see me using your notes, uh, don't worry. I'm not selling your notes or anything like that. I'm literally just trying to educate the people and, you know, show them how to study. This is for the greater good. It's for a good cause. Okay, so just don't sue me, please. And, yeah, anyways, so yeah, I'm just looking through my notes and I'm just going to give you guys a little guided... Um, view of this I actually did screen record me doing most of this because I know it's kind of weird to see it at this angle because I'm right-handed and the way the camera situated is kind of awkward so I'm gonna just cut to the next uh, screen where you can see me the screen I, I'm not making sense I'm just gonna cut to it you, you guys will see what I mean in a minute <laughs> And as I said earlier, I don't have a specific system or method for taking notes, but one thing I do really recommend is having a color scheme. I'm not like super crazy when I make my notes. I mean, I feel like my notes are pretty simple compared to the ones I've seen like on TikTok or study Tumblr or even Instagram, which pro tip, if you need inspiration to study or write notes, use social media, like go and look up the hashtag iPad notes, hashtag study notes, hashtag study time lapses, like look up look at those things and you will want to go write some notes like I'm telling you even if you have a, don't have an iPad or if you have paper and pencil like it's gonna make you want to do work I'm not even lying to you like it's it's a it's a method I use all the time so as I was filming this because I am taking notes and stuff that I will need for an exam next week I realized that I wasn't really retaining the information like I was more focused on getting good angles and stuff for filming so I decided to stop recording me take these notes and actually like pay attention to what I'm doing but I did include you guys my um, notes from earlier in this semester as you can see it's a lot of diagrams a lot of color this is just personally for my visual brain how I have to write things out and note things out and of course in the beginning of the semester I always try super hard and then as the semester goes on my notes kind of just kind of you know, go on hill a little bit, but that's reasonable, especially with the times we're living in. I mean, it's just crazy. It's crazy. But as you can see, I really do use different methods every time. I insert pictures from my PowerPoints, and I go in and draw arrows and doodles and such. I mean, this subject is just so 
visually like dependent that I just have to do this kind of stuff and of course everybody learns differently um, as you can see you know the you, you can see the patterns and like the fonts I like the colors I like this page is really funny because I totally gave up on this module we had like a hundred slides y'all I'm not even kidding so I just screenshotted the powerpoints and just put them in my notes and called it a day but as you can see there's no like method or anything to my notes it's just kind of like I kind of think my notes are more kind of like a mind map if you know what that is it's where you just have a piece of paper and you just jot down your whole ideas I mean of course mine's a little more organized I think but I don't really follow like a specific strict like Cornell notes or something like that you know it's just whatever I'm feeling that day and kind of just go with the flow kind of thing but yeah guys comment down below if you have a certain method of notes you want to try taking or what kind of study tips and study methods you use because as I go to nursing school next year I really want to make sure I have the best studying techniques and stuff as possible so I can be the best nurse that I can be so yeah guys that's pretty much it for this video So as I was saying, that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm staying up super late. It's like one in the morning right now and I'm editing this so I can go up tomorrow because I know you guys have been waiting so long for this video. And of course there's me failing at cursive, LOL. But yeah guys, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. Every once in a while I post me like little study inspiration videos of my story and stuff like that. And you know, we just gotta band together as students this semester. Online college, Corona University, whatever, what is it called, Zoom University? It's really kicking a lot of our butts and that's totally valid. Never feel like you're not doing enough. You know, we're all just really trying our best here. Um, so on that note, love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it took me forever to finally do it. Um, but yeah, now that you've watched this video, you should totally go to your homework because, uh, girl, I know you got homework. Final season's approaching. Don't forget that. LOL. Anyways, bye guys. Love you.